So in this video, I wanted to do a quick comparison between two different Bic pens. First of all, we have the Bic round stick, and then we have the Bic crystal. So these are hyper popular office type pens. You see them all over here in the US. Often you'll see the stick as a branded one. You'll go into a auto garage or a insurance company and they'll have their logo on it, but they're also very popular in companies because they are sold in huge packs for very cheap. The Bic Crystal is the more classic of the Bic pens. It's been around since, I wanna say the 50s or 60s. I mentioned all the details in my previous video about the Crystal. It's kind of the more classy, more elegant Bic. And while it used to be their super cheap model, the stick definitely is the cheaper one now. And we'll get into pricing and all that in a minute. Just here is how the stick comes. It comes in a 50 pack. It's also sold in a 144 pack. And just for reference, that 50 pack sells for, I took some notes, uh, $5. You buy 144 pack for $12. A 50 pack of crystals will cost you about $16. And that's probably not even a 50 pack. It's probably a couple uh, joint packs. 24 of them will sell for about $7. Uh, you can buy them on Office Depot and all those other places. So basically, long story short, the Crystal is a good deal more expensive than the, uh, maybe a little bit more than twice as expensive as the stick. The stick, you can see, has a more modern design and has this translucent plastic it's not quite as strong as the crystal. The crystal is very stiff, quite hard to bend, and it will shatter, where this one will not shatter. This is just a softer plastic. Uh, usually when you see these, they're chewed on the top, which is pretty gross, but you see that happen all the time. That's pretty much the only way to get this stopper out. Not that I recommend that. Both of them have plastic caps. You can see that, again, the stick has the more modern cap with the matte plastic, and it has that sort of uh, satin finish. The crystal uses an older style plastic. It's harder, it tends to be a little bit sharp, and it's glossy, which is how you would have generally seen plastics, kind of like back in the day. This sort of satin finish is definitely a kind of a newer thing. And that extends to the pen. This The stick has a more of a, uh, it's a glossy feel, but it looks more satin. And then you go up here, you see that sort of matte satin finish. Crystal, of course, has that crystal finish. It kind of looks like crystal and it's a hard transparent plastic. So definitely different there. Both have similar stoppers that are pretty difficult to get out, but once in a while you can get your fingernail under here. This one is pretty much impossible to get out. Not that you would need to, but just from a engineering standpoint. The caps are interchangeable. Not that you would want to, but they are interchangeable. And that just is because they're pretty similar in dimensions. The stick is just a little bit thicker. And if anyone has specific questions about that, you could check it out on unsharpen.com. I'll check out, I'll put in some details there. Of course, the crystal is hexagonal where the stick is round. So the stick will roll on your desk. The crystal will not. Obviously, if you have the cap on, that's not an issue. As far as varieties, they're both sold in a few different sizes, fine, extra fine. The uh, crystal is also sold in a extra bold, the 1.6 millimeter. The stick is not. The stick only goes up to either, uh, it's sold in a one and a 1.2 millimeter. Uh, which they call a medium, no extra XB 1.6 millimeter. And I have in the past reviewed the crystal in a 1.6 millimeter. It's a really cool pen for notes, but also a lot of people use it for artwork. I have them both in the standard, the uh, medium, which is a, I believe a 1.2 millimeter. It might be a 1.0 if you buy certain classifications, but these are 1.2 millimeter medium pens. The other thing I would note is that the Crystal being a more modern pen does come with recycled materials, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one, which I bought in that 50 pack, which you saw, is made of 
74% recycled plastic. So uh, that's a nice little perk there. And there's no ill effects. It's not like it's made of recycled plastic. So these things fail catastrophically after an hour. They, they're as good as the other ones. They just happen to be out of recycled plastic. And I believe some varieties will be green writing instead of blue or black. And that could vary based on where you're based, uh, wh you know, where you live, where you buy the pen, which model it is, what color it is and all that. I'm not, I don't know the pens to that depth. Getting into the refills, they are the same for these two pens. Again, that's gonna vary based on the size of the tip, but the refills themselves are the same. And if you give this piece a pull, there's a good chance you could pull out the refill. With the crystal, there's a separate piece here that is harder to get out, but if you twist it and pull it, it will come out eventually. You can see I'm starting to get it. There's really no reason to pull it out though, so we'll leave it in there. The refill on the crystal, I'm sorry, on the refill on the stick, you can pull out, but it can be hard. The refill on the crystal is usually very easy to get out because this plastic is so hard. And now you can see the two refills next to each other. Clearly this one is blue where this one is that old school bronze or gold, whatever you want to call it. So that's different, but past that it's the same, same length, all that same ink. And here they are lined up at the bottoms. No difference there. You can see I scratched this one up a little bit because I had to use some scissors to pull it out, which is unfortunate, but it just sort of, that is how it is. The good news with this is you can go ahead and you can get your refill from your crystal and you could put it in a refill from your stick and put in your crystal and get the refill from your crystal and put in the stick. So no problem there. There two are interchangeable. The biggest issue there will be if you could pull them out and then we're good to go. So we'll put things back how they were. All set there. As far as the writing goes, like I said, they're the same refill, so they write the same. This is the Bic round stick, medium. So this is just a modern ballpoint. It's relatively smooth. It's smoother than you expect, smoother than you probably remember these. I'm sure that the ink has been changed over the years to be smoother. It's still a standard ballpoint, but they do seem smoother. And they also are a lot smoother when the pens are newer. If you buy these pens and you leave them sitting around for a year, two years, three years, four years, the ink will get worse. There's just no question about that. So these are both under a year old, pretty new. So I don't think they include like the manufacturing date on this. It's not like a coffee with an expiration date, but you do recognize that the older ones get worse. And this is the Bic Crystal. To me, the crystals always feel a little smoother, but it's hard to put that, you know, I haven't done any sort of mechanical testing of that. They just, maybe just in my head that they feel smoother. And I'm sure it is in my head, which they are the same refills, but I tend to prefer the crystals. But if you look at the pricing, the crystals are actually a lot more expensive, right? So 54. So that $16 seems high. That might've been inflated by Amazon somehow. But uh, if you know, 24 is at seven, so maybe 50 should be selling for like 13 around there, 12 and change, something like that. If you go to your local big box store, instead of getting uh, kind of ripped off by this guy. But anyway, the 50 will still be about half as cheap for the round stick. And these things obviously last forever. Uh, so solid choice if you need a lot of pens and you want them to last or you're giving them away or you're afraid people are going to walk off with them uh, but the crystal remains the classic and uh, definitely my choice you know even though it's twice the price we're still not talking about a lot of money in an absolute sense so the crystal is still a really good pickup for a classic pen you're seeing them less and less because uh, they're not recyclable i believe or not made of recycled materials, at least materials, at least like the round stick. 
and obviously they're more expensive and they do shatter and that sort of thing, but they are the classic. It's a lot better looking to me and a lot more comfortable in that hexagonal design. Definitely prefer that. So that is a full comparison of the round stick versus the Bic crystal. Thanks for watching.